Hello and welcome everyone with Amateur Dota League Season 9, uh, Pandorum Gaming versus Banana Slug Gaming. This is an elimination match, but this is Game 2. Pandorum taking uh, a strong Game 1, and uh, with me is uh, my co-host Kramer. Hey. Gotta get the pregnant pause. This is true. Earthshaker picked up. That's a person in this game. Yep, and uh, they do ban out the Alchemist. Alchemist, like I said, uh, always a good mid. Not, not, not so much lately. I haven't seen him in the pros too lately. But um, he can stomp very, very, uh, very, very easily. And they also ban a Night Stalker. Because uh, off, either if it's, if it's either a Night Stalker or offlane or support, it can always be bad with the early Aghanims. And uh, Banana will be banning out the Undying and the Slaughter, of course, because uh, Pandorum love to run the Slaughter. They ran it four times with a 75% win rate, so they're good. So this... Might be the Io Tiny, and it is. Oh man! Oh, oh lord! <laughs> Call us up. We in. Put we, me in, coach. Put me in, coach. Me and Kramer yeah. run Io Tiny all uh, very a lot, a lot. Like I have, me and him have like I have seventy games on Io, and then like sixty games with just me and him Io Tiny all the time. It, it's so good. It's like the best strat ever. It pub strats. Yeah, but it looks like Banana will be choosing the two, two supports right off the bat, a more classic draft, but, I mean... Monte, Monte Carlo. Indeed. <laughs> and I'm not sure why they will ban out the Anti-Mage, because whenever Tiny, whenever you pick up the Iron Tiny, Tiny is usually the position one, even though he is in the mid lane. So, you really want to run an AM with the Tiny. That's really a bit odd. But, it looks like uh, Pandora will be banning out the Ember Spirit. Yeah, especially both people that would most likely have Cleaves. Mm-hmm. Ten seconds remaining. All right, so what are we what are we looking like here? I like I like the IO Tiny. I always like IO Tiny. The only way it's it's certain ways you it's certain ways you can cancel IO Tiny. Actually, they have the two heroes that can do it really well. We Earthshaker can wreck IO Tiny, especially with the relocate and all that stuff. Um, you know, trapping them, and the Witch Doctor can as well with the cast. And uh, it's pretty much Earthshaker, Witch Doctor, Void, and Enigma who can counter uh counter um IO Tiny very very well. But they do ban out the Rubik, so. That, that, that makes me think they're going to pick up a Winter Wyvern. Banana Slug. Ooh. We saw last game it uh, pretty much won Eclipse Horizon the game. Yep. Yeah. So, so maybe not the best choice to uh, give it to your opponent here. Yep, yeah, and uh, but they do have another pick up, so they could, uh, or Pandorum does pick next, but they could pick up the Winter Wyvern. They've been out the Queen of Pain. And what mid laner would you say just like will win against Iotani? I don't. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Uh, Venomancer. Venomancer. I would say Venomancer. Only yeah. problem. Only problem with Venomancer I would have is probably uh, the fact that Io can just heal Tiny. Yeah, but that's resources, and it's also like. You can't get tossed on combo because you would just slow him and walk away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Venom, yeah, Venom might be good. And maybe, not this, maybe not for this game, but. Arxy here. Arxy is a good pickup, and that kind of. I went on for a huge tangent why Dark Seer is one of the best off laners for melee cores. Oh, he is. He really is. He completely, like, wrecks Ember Spirit and everything. Sniper. Sniper could be a decent option for mid against Io Tiny. Ooh, I don't, I don't know about that one. Sniper's really... Just because of range? Yeah, but I, that, that takes a, lot, a whole bunch of levels. And level 2 Tiny can kill you, um, a sniper, easily, if he gets out of place. But, uh, actually, the, the mid laner, Banana need to pick. They need to pick after the support. They need to fifth pick a mid laner. Because uh, Eclipse Game can have a very, very strong uh, uh, support that can gain the mid lane. Like, I can... Oh, not a Rubik. I don't know what supports they would pick up, but they can pick up supports. I can gain the mid lane quite easily and then, uh, you know, to assist the IO Tiny or support because, you know, they have IO Ooh. already. Yeah. Razor. That's another one. Yep. That's that's pretty good. Dang. But I think this is a safe lane Razor. It should be. I don't really like safe lane racer all that much. I I don't I don't like it either. <laughs> but I I don't think uh, I don't, I just don't see the um the huge benefit of a mid lane racer against Iotani. Tiny. I mean, what can you do? I mean, you can barely you know CS. I think. 
Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. All right, so Pandora looking up for the uh, fifth pick up here. Five seconds remaining. Who will they pick up? These yeah. are the real questions. They need a support, uh, or a core, or you know, position one. As position one, I think they actually could have picked the Queen of Pain. Like whenever you run an idle tiny mid, you can actually pick a mid laner. Uh, you can pick your safe area could be a mid laner. Oh yeah. Like I seen. I seen uh it's not turning into V, but I seen like I think Vega. They ran like a safe lane Queen of Pain with the mid Io Tiny. Because Vega's actually one of the teams recently who run Io Tiny Io Tiny a lot. And OG. Lion. Yeah. Okay, Lion gets support. I think this is gonna be a cookie lion. You know, I, I miss Morphling, I really do. Morphling? I like Morphling. I really I, do. He's so good, man. Uh, let me uh, let me think. Who could they pick up? I'm I'm curious. I'm I'm scratching my beard trying to decide. <laughs> Are you twiddling your mustache? Ooh, there ooh. it is. Clock. There's a good pick. That's yeah. That's actually really good. Really really good against Iotani. Because you can hook, hook in the IO and then separate them, or you can just like see a relocate coming and then drop the cogs and as soon as they come in they both get pushed back and uh, buys you a couple seconds. That really good. They are a really good anti uh, Iotani lineup, but it's all it's all about execution. All right, so now um, Eclipse Gaming, they have one uh, one band left and one more pick left. What? What would you go? I, I don't know in this situation. Okay, they ban Gyro. Radiant team ban. I don't know who you pick. Uh, I, this Razor, I think if I really think if this Razor safe lane is gonna be, I don't know. The thing about Razor mid, if Razor's mid and he has to like capitalize or he's gonna get left behind. And the thing about, the thing about Razor safe lane, this is a gamble as well. But it's just really, really confusing. I'm actually, I'm stumbled here. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what they would pick. Maybe a Tempo Assassin safe lane? Ooh. Ooh, the TA said we're bringing it back? Bringing it back. Um. No, someone that can do a decent amount with Little Farm. Yeah. Well, not a little farm. They'll get Wind, the whole. They'll, they'll get the whole safe lane. Wind Ranger. Oh yeah, you're not even banned. Ten seconds remaining. Oh yeah, yeah. If if they don't pick a Wind Ranger, uh, Ben is definitely going to pick it up, and I think that's a serious problem. At that point, I think it's going to be even draft. They need to pick. They need to pick Wind Ranger, like you said. Safe lane Death Prophet. I'm not okay. If they pick Wind Ranger. Safe lane Io Tiny maybe. Oh, I hope not. That's it's really never good. Because Tiny can just, they can really wreck the mid lane with the balls and the uh, avalanche toss. And if they don't pick Wind Ranger, if they pick a Wind Ranger here, it's gonna, this game's going to be completely even in drafts. That means they'll have four heroes, four heroes against Io Tiny, effectively. They have a lot of cores. What will it be? I think, yeah, it has to be Wind Ranger. Ooh, or Huskar, actually. Is Death Pro oh, Death Pops Death Pop physical. And, uh, I don't know. Huskar, Wind Ranger, one of the two. Ah, oh, this is hard. Like, who do you pick? Yeah, they're thinking just as hard as we are. <laughs> they have a decent team fight. Mm-hmm. So what do you? Mm. You need like hard, hard Gary. Like yeah. an anti, you no, know, like a juggernaut maybe. Viper. Oh, so safe lane razor. Oh yeah, yeah. no, because Almao plays safe lane. Yeah, Slendy, Slendy's, Slendy's, Slendy's mid. mid. So it's going to be a mid razor. Unless they decide to change. That's. I believe. I don't know. I don't know how I, feel, I, don't know how I feel about this. This I, It's all about execution for the banana, uh, banana slug. They, it's like, they have to execute perfectly because they can uh, fissure into Viper Ultimate, into, uh, you know, or Clockwork uh, Ultimate into there. And then you know, wish I could, could go really good or really bad. Yeah, yeah, I miss. 
Is the Viper, it's either the Clockwork or the Earth Shaker has to initiate every single time. Because Wish Doctor is very, very squishy, and then they have the uh, Sun, or oh, Avalanche for Wish Doctor. In this case, he does decide to do like a long range uh, uh, Death Ward, or Death Ward from the back. And at some point, Death Prop is going to get a use episode. so that, that, is, that stirs up some calamity. That's going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be very one sided, I feel. Ooh, I know, TP into the mid lane already. Prepare. Battle. Getting aggressive ward off, but all right. On the side of Pandora, we do have Cookie on the line. Is he changed his name? But it's Cookie on the line, and on the Death Prophet, we do have Mike Hunt, and on the Darkseer, we have Rat Pack, and on the Isle, we have Nappa, and on the Tiny, we have Vegeta. Vegeta. <laughs> and on the side of Banana Slug, on the Viper, we do have a Elmeo. We do have Slendy on the Razor, on this Offling Clockwork Lodestar, Kamari Dota. We do have the Earthshaker, and last but not least, I'm just gonna call him Six. That's what I've been calling him on the Witch Doctor. Oh wow, look at that font. Oh, that's that's definitely pre-programmed, -pre right here. No way you can type that straight. But do you see the, you see the uh, <laughs> you see oh the trash god. talk? Why are we drawing dicks? Oh my god, that's, he's dang, he can draw. <laughs> Oh wow, Earthshaker drops the Sentry Ward and will not be able to see it. Dang, he can draw a straight line. He must have some kind of mouse program. But yeah, the, the trash talk, he says, see you next season. <laughs> oh, a little bit of uh, harassment going out from the other sides. Ooh, is it safe lane? Oh, safe lane, idle tiny. <laughs> Dix equals disqualification here in the AD2 level. Oh, no, that means hyper safe lane and razor mid. Ah, I don't like safe lane. This is weird. I mean, I, I don't... Safe lane, I tiny. Who called it? I called it. That's right. I'm this, the best it, it's not that good because you, you can't really get kills. I mean, you're against a clockwork who, I mean, one armor, right? But... With lion? That's an extra stun. Yeah, but... Yeah, but no, no, you, that's you, good. no. <laughs> you're going against your first off. You have three heroes in the safe lane. You're not getting as much experience as you would in the mid lane. Your kill potential is extremely lost because you won't be able to pull the lane. I mean, you won't be able to, uh, you know, uh, heal up and stuff. And plus, Io uh, takes a greater risk by going here, and he can get ganked uh, by any point from the clockwork or anyone else. I, that's why I don't like Io Tiny safe lane. I don't think they're going for kills. I think they're just going for safe. Fun. No, no, I'm saying they can get killed with the banana. I mean, because Io's gonna have to get a. Uh, a bottle and he's gonna get go to the top rune and then he can get ganked from uh you know clockwork or razor so it's a little bit um a little bit uh it's not it's really not as good as the mid lane but i don't know against the razor maybe it's the right pick and plus clockwork's not gonna clockwork's not gonna be dumb and let himself get killed i don't believe Ooh, in the mid lane, Kamari rotates mid, does the fissure off onto uh my cunt on death on the death prophet. Ooh, and Viper getting a good amount of farm in the safe lane. Eight and one so far compared to Io's uh, or compared to Tiny's eight, six and two. Alright, got a surprise visit from the brother in my room. My bad. Rest in peace. Ooh, top lane. Oh, Ooh, Io has no He's going straight for a bottle. Alright. Oh, he's dead. I think Low Star's dead. Yeah, Lion's coming up. Lion, uh, one stun. Oh, he's almost level two. If he gets level two right here, these creeps, he's dead. One stun. Toss it from Io or from Tiny. Oh, okay. He's gonna send him off. If if, if he was level two, he would have got him because he has uh, he's four experience away from level two. This this Io also has no items. Just straight bottle. Straight yep. bottle rush. And Darkseer, against this Viper, he might not do as well as he thinks. He's against a Viper and, um, and a Witch Doctor who are both ranged. So his, his farm may be not that great. This game it may, it may suffer because of it. Ooh, but, oh my god, Tiny, 800 gold already. Will be the minus. Uh, Fisher goes off to him from Kumari, but he's going to re retreat back. And that's a bottle out for Razor here. I think, yep. Just a uh, bottle crone. 
All right, and the CES, it looks like Death Prop is leading heavily because uh, I think more only because of the uh, Crypt Swarm, just spamming that out. 16-3 uh, compared to uh, Razor's 10-2. So not that far off, but definitely a difference. Not the Blood Swarm. The what? The Crypt Swarm. The Blood oh. Swarm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a good joke when I thought about it. Man, it, it looks like, look uh, like they rotated Earthshaker. Yeah, they did do uh, tri lanes, but they uh, rotated to dual lanes. And nope. I think Kumari on this um, Urshaker loves to roam. I think he just roams uh, a lot of the time. And he's gonna just sit here. And he's like, "Oh, I was not gonna get this." Oh, maybe a skirmish happened in the top lane. Ooh, Slendy. Okay, they, uh, he's racing still the damage. A lot of the time. Uh, oh my God, Fish on the wrong side. Clockwork stun comes out. Or the. Oh, my cop. He pops a style, he may be fine here. Kumar may be the one in, that, in trouble. I was healing up my cunt, but it's like Slendy's gonna have to get back here and no one died. That was actually crazy close. Uh oh, whoa, you can't speak yet? Oh, okay. Ooh. Boston Mango. Oh, Try, the he wants to, get a, wants to get a fissure. It, dude, that I'll was, tell you, was... Lion almost died. So um, he almost got wrecked. Everyone almost died. Yeah. That is like clutch style. The first item energy booster on Tiny. Mana boots on Tiny. Hey, I didn't say those man boots. I'm just saying the first item. I mean, he's, I mean, he's definitely gonna get man boots. He's not getting Octarine, I don't think. Or Bloodstone. <laughs> Dude, Octarine Tiny would be stupidly good. So I guess he's trying to. Oh, uh, I think he's trying. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to maximize uh, Io's bottle. He's gonna try to spam out the abilities and then uh, let uh, Io heal him up with the um, or heal up his mana. Oh, D confirmed. Such... Oh, D confirmed. This might not be as bad as we thought. Yep. They just, I, I think they don't need the trial lane, or... This trial is really going to hurt them in terms of getting level 6 on the uh, Tiny, or on the IO. Because right now, IO, uh, Lion, level 3. And then Darks here, you can't really dual lane with him either, because it's kind of like, no, it's like really not even a point. But, looks like Viper, compared to uh, Tiny right now, 27 and 3, compared to Tiny's 22 and 9. Viper getting a couple CS more than uh, the hard carry of the side of Pandorum. Ukumar is trying to rotate of... in. Rat pet. Fissure? Nope, he's gonna just. I just eat. thought of how good Viper is against the Darkseer. Yeah, the slows. Really, uh, the punch. range. Well, the range is. Yeah, the range is pretty good. And not to mention the Wish Doctor range, too. We have two, uh, two range in the bot lane. Two range in the bot lane. New hit single coming out. Very soon. Bot on iTunes. But this they don't buy music anymore. Not a lot of people do. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> okay, so Death Prop is going for. Car. <laughs> it was like uh, Death Prop is going for the phase boots. Oh, it's Ooh, Clark it, uh, could be in trouble. Ooh, he's gonna try to run away and Cogs and Ve uh, Vegeta gets first blood. Low star goes straight down. He just threw up the three pointer into the Cogs and scored. Kobe. Very, very good. Definitely can punish his clockwork with the, the toss stun. He's oh. level 5, help 6. Ooh, Fisher goes out. He might get. Oh, he's gonna try to get Kumar. Avalanche, toss with the balls? No, no, okay, no. Alright, Slendy TP's in. Like ball, along with, uh, ooh, along with Low Star. They have some trouble here. He does use the uh, healing stuff. That's gonna get popped from the IO. Now it gets popped throw from the, the IO back. Throw the IO back. Throw <laughs> Sacrificial Lamb, throw him back. He is done. He's okay. All right, they're gonna, they're gonna disengage. Okay, I'm kind of concerned. Uh, I'm not sure if this tiny had quelling blade before, and I hope he's not going for battle fury. Did you, did he have the quelling blade before? Did you know that? I, I'm not too sure if I look. I think he did. Okay, okay just but check. Battle fury, tiny agnums. Oh my god, what, what would that be? What is a uh, cleave on the agnums? I, I don't know. Is it like 65 percent? Or it's 50. 50. Okay, so that's almost 100. And battle fury is 35. Yep. I think 35 or 45. I think it's 35, yeah. That would be crazy. Ooh, by bot lane. Right click's going on the Rat Pack. Rat Pack is, like you said, having a hard time here, especially without Style Shield. He really had a problem. Like, he, like that was a huge mistake when I have a Style Shield in this lane. This lion is the poorest person I've ever seen. Yeah, he is. But definitely not as poor as the Witch Doctor. <laughs> yeah, or the uh, Earthshaker. <laughs> so, I mean, he he's not last. So, that's something, that's something to be proud of. Mm -hmm. And in terms of mid lane, ooh. Net worth, Razor, falling way behind in terms of net worth of the Death Prophet. Death Prophet is about 600 gold ahead. Is this a Death Prophet return? 
It just might be. She's getting, she's level the eight. Turn of the DP. She's level eight. Raze is level seven, and he has to go. Uh, going back to the bot lane. Does have a DD though. I'm saying this. This clockwork has to be very, very careful here because you have two stuns with the uh, lion, and then the yeah. stun from the. Yeah. This lion has just been sitting like around here, like just kind of. Yeah, you, I, th I think the reason he's doing that is mainly because XP as well. Because if yeah, he sits XP here, and he, definitely because he can get the kills. Like. Yeah. Because I think he just wants to get out of the XP range to get Tiny in them uh, experience. Ooh, 400 gold. 400 gold on the uh, Tiny. Bitch goes out into uh, Death Prophet in the mid lane. Racy does have DD Crypt Swarm goes out, pushes him back a little bit more. Doesn't have any ball charges, but he does have 6 1. Swarm charges if he wants to use those. Another Crypt Swarm. Goodness, God, the cooldowns. That's why you get Octarine. <laughs> First this, item. Racy is also very poor. Yeah, Doesn't like have power. Oh, just got power trades. Like I said, this is why I don't like Razor in this lineup. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I think they picked Razor thinking that is an IR tiny mid, which I think is good in a way. Oh, oh, top lane, top lane. Ooh, Cogwork, maybe some trouble here. And Low Star, you try to deny the uh, Cog, but they just attack him. And looks like Iro gets the kill. Vegeta just gives it to him. Nappa secures the kill with 800 gold. Maybe he gets the uh, boots and earn next. That's Let's a see. Lot of get. Oh, boots. Dude, Death Prophet is doing this damn. Look at this. He's nuking. Look how much Crypt Swarm actually does. And what is that she's the getting? Blood swarm. Yep. And the Blood Swarm. She gets her Staff of Wizardry, so she might get an early uh, Yule Scepter. Staff. Four Staff on the Death Prophet. <laughs> the trick is you Good. ultimate and then you force yourself into the fight. <laughs> Alright, Kumar is here. We have the Armadillo. The, the Blink Dagger. Blink behind your team and then just ulti. Oh god, something's gonna happen here. Four heroes uh, top. Ooh, Slendy and uh, six on this uh, Wish Doctor. Io Tiny. I mean, Tiny's at top of the net worth. They're trying to bring him down, man. Yeah. Ooh, they have to be very, very, very careful. See this, though. Yeah, they, they smell something's like, up. Mid, mid lane's getting wrecked. Like, yeah, they, they need to attend to mid lane. Okay, they see Kumar. Cast goes out, but it's on the wrong person. Oh, Death War committed a missed freaking uh, Clockwork Ultimate. Fissure goes out, and it looks like it's dating away. Double kill for Slendy, and it looks like it may be another kill. Nope. Fine. No TP. Just trees. He may eat his he may eat his way out. Um, nom nom nom. <laughs> and he's gonna, gonna try to run and I, I don't think he's I don't think he's uh gonna survive this one. <gasps> uh, yeah, he got him. Yep. Alright, Clockwork gets the kill, and that was a good rotation in from the side of uh, Banana Slow Gaming. That took a little bit too long. Yeah. Death Prophet obliterated the middle tower while that was happening. Hey, did she uh oh she did commit the exorcism, which is good, level one, I think. Or a good in the early game to uh, commit. You think it's good, level one? Dyer's top tower is under attack. It looks like. Alright, so Viper does have the Aquila Treads and is getting a Yasha more likely. And top lane looks like it's going down. Four heroes top, they're just gonna push. And it looks like Clockwork gets the last hit. Low star. Alright. Ooh, bot top lane. tower down. So oh. tower for power plus a few kills. Oh, uh, they expect to find Viper down here, but Viper is gonna go ahead and get his way back. And they're gonna uh, TP Earthshaker back to the top, uh, to the base. Don't okay, so mana boots. It. So mana boots, point boost on tiny. Is this a Octarine or Bloodstone or is this a straight Agnims? Bloodstone. Blood Bloodstone. The Crypt Stone. The Crypt Stone and the Blood Swarm. <laughs> All right, so they have four I heroes. Bottom. I think Octarine is possible. Uh, I hope. I hope not. I think you could make it work if you wanted to, but it's not. The if best. you wanted to. Well, they look at that. They're, they're hungry. They're hungry for they the Agnums. Ooh, but it looks like six. Oh no, a rat pack here. He's trying to use surge, but he gets fished up. He's getting right click, and Death Wars committed. But they, do they want to do this? Stun goes off the low star with the toss, getting the double damage, and he's dead. Uh, Vegeta gets another kill. My cut may be in trouble here. Ayla, uh, Ace come down here. Fifteen. Ooh, yep, one right click from nope. Viper. Get it. And this Viper, like you said, is doing very, very good. He tries to steal the damage, but it breaks immediately. Uh, they, um, oh my God, Kumari stuns up with Atani, but it looks like I was gonna try to um, Tani's gonna run away, getting Io the tether range, and he's gonna try to run away. And oh, okay. I was just gonna die here, which I think is good. He didn't even t TP him back to base. He didn't even bring to the base. <laughs> and they changed that. You can just double click it. Wait, well, he could be able to tether to the creep. Nope. Oh, I'd ran this way towards Witch Doctor and tether to the creep. <laughs> he tried. All right, so it looks like uh, Tiny would pick up the Ogre Club. But on, on Slendy, on this uh, Razor, we'll be going for the Mech. A little bit late though. And okay, look at sure, look at Viper. Bye. Is Viper getting? Yep, Viper's getting eggs. 
This I think this is gonna be if I think if Viper gets Aghanims, which he is, I think that's gonna be like their downfall. You don't get eggs on Viper level one, especially safe one. You just don't. You need Yasha San Yasha Manta style one of the two. This tiny is going for a BKB and an Ocarina. <laughs> Confirm. Um, why he's doing two items at once? But no, he's probably going to egg him scepter. Yep. And he gives him, is, gives him time to farm like up. A must. Yep. Not always a must. I saw OG run Io Tiny without an egg scepter. No, they they do it a lot though. They they know what they're doing. I I, 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 like, I like the Io Tiny. It's so safe. Well, they have exorcism now. I don't think they want to fight this. I think this fire, this tower is going to go down here to probably Viper. Nope, denied from the death prop. Amazing. Oh, I have to chose the three heals, and uh, all three goes out from a uh, limo onto uh, my cunt, and then Slendy gets to kill the death prophet, and Rat Pack just tethers to the uh, to the death prophet or to the dark here and just secures the kill. Right now, eight to three, net worth going up, almost two k gold to the side of uh, Banana Slow Gaming, and I think you just let your towers fall. not let your towers fall, but I mean, don't risk your life for one. Echo Slam. The minute it hits a Vega or a Vegeta, <laughs> it looks like stun goes out. No, Lion's thinking about it, and they just gonna disengage here. I think if they, I think if Vegeta would have died, they would have lost a lot. Viper, okay. Yeah, uh, I think they're riding really hard on this tiny here, because their early game right now is not the best. No, and you, it's. I don't know. I, I nope. would say it's to be expected, but no, not really. You have Iotani plus Darkseer plus Death Prophet. All those are, you know, lame. Darkseer is not six yet. It is lying. Yeah, that's, that was the bad thing about, uh, it's really, really bad, uh, bad thing about having, um, Lane against a Viper and a Witch Shock, you know, that harass. And not to mention, uh, Darkseer did not have any stop shield, so he was really, really bad trouble. So looking to group up mid lane to push this last tier one tower. They do an amazing job of grouping up, actually. And Kumar is actually doing a good, really, really good job of throwing those fishes out, separating the team. Dunn goes out from line, completely misses. Dookie. Gonna try his luck again. Ooh, but... Death Prophet's trying to take this, but six sees him. He does drop a ward here to get some vision over here. And low star, let's use the flare. Maybe we want to get the hook shot here. Cast goes out. Right back here, yep, and they just come in. Surge onto oh Surge he's not going anywhere. Vacuum, but the Death War is gonna finish him off. Stun goes out, stops uh six is death war, but a little bit too late on that one. So nine to three is the score right now, and the gold graph keeps going up. Dark Seer's level eight still snaps ulti. Oh, he's going for that Dark Seer build? I mean this is like the 2014 Dark Seer build. I don't know if you remember. You just get like you get the ultimate at level 10 and level 11. This is a very old build. Yeah. That's old. I I think it can be good some games, Not but good. when your team is pressuring your tier 2 16 minutes into the game. Ooh, but they, they're going about to rotate. They're defending this one, and they're just going to deny it. Yep. They, they could have stayed. It's only the Wish Doctor and the Clockwork. And you have Iota. Oh, no. No, you can't. Uh, Tiny's uh, 800 gold away from his. Ooh, he gets a, a sexy region room. But they deny the bottom tower. They get a little bit of go off of that one, but the tier 2 tower still stands a little bit. Wait. Why did Tiny? Oh no, come on, Tiny. Tiny got the region rune. They should give the Io and let the Io heal the Tiny. That's what you usually do. Maybe they know something that we don't. Maybe, maybe. They just might. So, what is coming out to Tiny now? This is full eggs. Nope. Two of the last. Two of the three components he, he needs. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's a good measure. Yeah, I think he really needs that. Because right now the Ogre Club will give him like what almost 200 health, and then uh, Alacrity is gonna give him a little bit of, a little bit of uh, armor, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, just a little. <laughs> I'm done. And he'll, he's gonna let Io get this uh, rune here, which I think he should. And see, right now Tiny has 1400 health, and he they, he needs to be in the jungle. I mean, dude, don't, they're just sitting here. They they need to farm. I mean, the three. I mean. <sighs> Razor, Razor Viper, top of the net worth, 800 gold ahead of the Death Prophet. Both of them were, you know, around the around the um that amount. But you accept they're already coming out for the uh, Death Prophet. But bot lane, they're pushing this tower. This is a pushing lineup. I don't. It, I mean, they're they're making this lineup a pushing lineup, even though it isn't a pushing lineup. Re relocate in onto four heroes. This is bad. Echo slam right into it, and then a toss. But it looks like Ve uh, Vegeta's is gonna go down. Uh, vacuum onto two heroes, but. Death Prophet is also here. He's gonna turn to fish. Lindy's getting hit, and it looks like oh, low star hits him with the clockwork uh, ultimate, and. Okay, nice little setup from Death Prophet. Hitting the enemies, and this may be bad for the sob. Oh no, yep, okay. Hey, Dorm Gaming, hey. Isle Tiny's is not working out for them. Goodness God, that was a very bad relocate. Dyer's bottom 
That was uh, not the best. I mean, this could be a quick GG. I mean, they just put they put pressures. I mean, you don't relocate like that ever. I mean, it's not like they didn't have vision. They had vision of all four heroes here. And ATP, they all uh, got right here, and Urshik was right here. So, I mean, I don't know why you do that. And I think if you if you really want to capitalize off of uh, Io Tiny, you may need to Blink Dagger in this situation. But AD go away from his Aghanim Scepter, so he won't be doing that. He's going to clear out this creep, creep Wave. Yep, and there it is. There's the Aghanims with the Tiny. And I think they need to just buy more time. They need to go to the Time Store and buy more. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, it looks like Nappa may be going down here. Cast goes out to him and Nappa's down. Ultimate goes out from Kumari. Gets a kill. Nice. My Hunt finishes up with the stun, but they do get the tower, 2 2 tower in the end. 14 to 6. And I said his Razor was a bad pick, but hey. It's, uh. They're doing it, they're doing it right. Along with the Viper. Because Viper and Razor is, are two heroes I really. I'm not keen on them at all. I actually kind of don't like them. Maybe they don't like you. That, that may be true. Ooh, looks like Razor. Could be going for Deso, actually. Going for Mithra Hammer. That's so BKB one of the two. Oh yeah, I think you go for BKB in this situation. Eggs completed. I mean, can he put it to work? Yeah, I mean, they should have been second ancients for for him. Should have been doing something. This yeah. IO definitely could have uh, could have stacked a little more. So what do you do here on the side of uh, Eclipse Horizon Pandora game? You have to farm up on the IO. See the problem is Darkseid and Death Prophet are kinda in your face heroes and they're they're not smoked up, they're just walking around. Razor is invis though. They just need the first one in. But they need to farm up. And then you know, banana slow game is just not gonna allow that to happen. That's that's kinda obvious. It looks like Mike Hunt may be in trouble. Fish goes out to Mike Hawk and Kiki's gonna go down here and then Mike Hunt? Oh, you accept him. He's going to be fine. He's going to get back. So they only get the line off of that one. But I think that's good that they didn't commit a smoke. So a kill is a kill. Oh, he's, he's cutting the wave. They're both cutting the wave, so they both can't push. That's good. The new tactic. The new tactic. Oh, taking their stacks. Io doesn't even need a stack for him. Mm. Oh, wow, he's not even level 11 yet. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I think, but seriously, Pandora needs just one good team fight. But I mean, this is your last T2 tower Deso, 21 minutes in. Do you think Desa would be good on uh, Tiny? No, no. Oh, uh, uh, OG no. Dude does do that though. They get Desa, not a lot, but they get it. They also get it this once or twice, I swear. This game might be good. Viper, Ooh. Clockwork, Razor. A Desa though? Oh, so Maybe an AC. All the books are really armor, or armor heavy. Yeah, that is that is also true. Especially Razor, uh, probably gonna get an AC soon. But Razor right now, Slendy getting the BKB. Okay, he's level. Is he level eleven yet? Yep, level two overgrowth or growth. Death Prophet steals, tries to steal that a stack or the uh, creep wave. And it looks like uh, Death Prophet has a vitality booster. What do you think? This Atos Bloodstone, what? Octarine. I think you just go Octarine from here. Bloodstone. I don't. You. you uh, Bloodstone's not the best to get when you're down. Yeah, that's also true. Unless you're Storm Spirit, <laughs> and that dude's gone. No one plays him anymore. <laughs> he he's been deleted from the game. He deleted System Thirty Two. Confirmed. So we're waiting for the fight here. Ooh, it looks like Viper is picking up a quarter staff, so he's gonna definitely get in the butterfly. And I don't know what they—I don't know what they can do. I mean, they're pushing the tier three already. Viper is going, yeah, Viper's going crazy a little bit. He could—he could be going Oblivion staff for that orchid. Yeah, that's true. I don't think you go orchid because if you use it on death Prophet, she can just purge it. But Chris one goes out, but it looks like Fisher wants to paralyze the castle to the ultimate and death war committed, but. Yeah, Death Prophet is instantly just obliterated. Tiny comes in, but half health 
And what what you gonna do? Avalanche wants to know one. They know it's down already. And they have to be careful. Yep, Cass goes out, hits uh, Nappa, and Vegeta's getting kited. That's probably that's buy back. He does TP in, and it looks like Vegeta goes down. Does he have buyback? Will he buy back? Dark Seed Wall comes in, but the Fisher's a little bit too late. And then, ooh, Echo Slam hits no one, actually. And Avalanche goes off, and still, no one dead. Two buybacks, three buybacks. No one's dead just yet. And they do toss in a Death Prophet, but he is getting hit with the uh, Static Field. Oh, Fisher goes out flying. But he is Glimmer. Uh, Slendy is Glimmer kicked up. Uh, Vegeta will try to fight here, but he is getting slow. He's getting surged by Dark Seer and get boosted from the IO Tiny or from the IO and Everyone's so him. low. Yeah, I mean, that's what you have. That's what happens when you have a tanky lineup like uh, like what they have. The uh, Viper, the Glare Razor, and the Clockwork, all tanky heroes. Extremely tanky. So we confirm they can hold high ground pretty well. Mm -hmm. Oh no 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 they can't. They they waste three buybacks. And the only reason they didn't get the towers is because Banana actually went for the uh, kills. They went for kills, not um, not for the structures. But I think if they went for the structure, they could do it. But I think Iotani surprised them. I'm sorry to say it, but I don't think it's working this game. Oh ooh, Roche. Come on, guys. Ooh, they do ping it out. Oh, uh, looks like they might be going on. Yep. How far is Kumar from his Blink Dagger? Ooh, almost there. 200 gold away from the, uh, 150 gold away from the Blink Dagger for the Earthshaker. Ooh, but they may be looking to smoke up here. Nope, they just grouped up. Oh, yeah. Smoke of the sea. Oh, they do smoke up, but a little bit too late. And now they mention they see them right there, so. They saw them before they smoked up, so I don't know why they smoked up. Alright, Bleak Dagger picked up for Kamara, and I think th at this point, this is uh, Gold Graph over 10,000, a little bit over 10,000 for the Banana Slug Gaming, and I think this is pretty hard to come back from. Uh, I don't know if they can come back. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna take a lot of throwing. It's gonna it's gonna take a lot of avalanching, a lot of throwing. Yeah, especially with Earthshaker, they have a good AOE. Let's look at Banana Slugs yeah, AOE. They are lineup even before they pick Iotani, their lineup was already fitted for uh fitted for Iotani in a way. Cause they chose the Earthshaker Wish Doctor, which is amazing as Io Iotani. It's not the Kryptonite, really. But it looks like they're gonna um get the two three tower here. Cookie mate oh cookies on God the range. You see the range from the Viper? It went yeah. from like here. Agnum's increased the range. Uh, that's a creature range. Radiance yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 I thought so. Huh. It looks like the Agnum's on the Viper was a good pickup, but it looks like he does have the Talisman of Evasion. Looking to get the Butterfly relatively soon. And 400 HP on the Tier 3 Tower. Yeah, but bot lane, though. I, uh, I, Otani. I, all he has is Agnum's. And look, they call the Courier. But the Courier, look, that's a very far distance. And they're going to try to bully this. It's going to Secret Trap. Okay, ah, I got you. I got you. Probably Hyperstone, he has 2100 gold. And looks like. Oh, Hookshot misses completely. Actually, that's really nice. They get the 2 3 tower. It looks like Clockwork is going to Agonist, but the TP's coming in bot. And it looks like BKB from Slendy. Slendy, oh, Avalanche doesn't do anything. It looks like Nappy, uh, no, Nappa's going down. And. He can Vegeta? Do yeah, Vegeta's good. Yeah. Ooh, but top. It looks like. Ooh, Death Prophet X has been committed. Death Wars committed as well. But it looks like they do lose the Darks here. But they, in return, get to support Urshik, which is not a good trade at all. This is just a slow siege. Yeah, and I, I think I I think uh, Pandorum actually knew. I, I think they knew what they're doing with this draft. They were they played a gimmicky draft. They was like, okay, we're up one game. We can maybe gimmick with something because I have this is the first game I casted where they actually ran Iotani. It's not a very common uh, build for them. Ooh, they jumped to two. Oh, one hero or um, stun from Lion goes onto one hero. And then Ve uh, Vegeta, right now, very, very slow. Hook shot in, and he's getting pushed back. Vegeta getting wrecked. Pushed back again. 
And maybe get pushed push back a third time. It looks like he tosses him back. Trying to buy a little bit more time. But Lowstar may be in trouble here. No, it looks like uh, Nappa goes down. Vegeta barely living here. He's barely living with 30 HP and stolen damage. And he's going to get this Rax here. They lose the caught break, but they get the IO. And Razor, what are you doing? You're a madman. Blink that going line, which I don't, I don't think that's a good a good pickup right now. Ooh, BKB pop from Razor at the nick of time. And the cash is going to go into all these heroes here. And they may be stunned. Ooh. Vipers into a fish. Avalanche toss a little bit too late there. And he yeah, does use the ultimate, but it looks like the Dark Seal wall will get the kill in the end. 900 gold for the side of uh, for uh, Dark Seer. And they do lose a Rax, but they get a decent trade. Not a decent Yeah, a decent trade. They get the Viper, they get the clockwork, and the fight recap will show that they got uh, over 2,000 gold for that fight. Or a gold swing for that fight. And those graph, still a little bit above 10,000. I mean, they had to, I think, I think the Tiny is just farm up really, really, really bad. But I don't, I don't think Banana's gonna let them farm up. I don't think Banana's, Banana's not a bad team. They're not, they're not dumb. They know they have, they're on the time limit. But it looks like Tiny's getting Manta style, which I think is May not, not be good. the worst thing. Well, it's, I think a reason he would get it is because, I, I don't think it purchases a Viper ultimate, I, I don't think so. But I think it, uh, it may confuse the Wish Doctor ultimate, but when Wish Doctor gets Aghanims, it, that's not gonna work. But Wish Doctor's getting drums, actually, so it may be a while before Wish Doctor get Aghanims, because you know you can bait the illusion with the, with the uh, Wish Doctor ultimate. This is we 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 all know which way this game is tilting, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a soul booster for Death Prophet. So if she gets the if she gets the Bloodstone in time, I don't know. But Alterine's kind of really bad <laughs> in its own right. I think Bloodstone gives you, you know more health, more it takes you up a bunch. But if you do dial it this kind of come become redundant. But Alterine Core is really not that that good anyway. I mean, as a second item, I, I don't think so. Oh, it looks like they, they're hosting around the Roshan pit, baiting them out. And Nappa only has a bottle, bottles and tranquils, essentially. And it looks like Ultimate Orb for a Tiny, and then the Yasha, or in the Blade of Alacrity. So he's quite a ways off from his Manta style. If they can, if somehow the Dyer can take this Rosh. Yeah, somehow. They need to blink on Tanya, I think, if you want to uh, contest it, maybe. And they, I th they get a good Roche fight. And I think they're just going to go on aggressive once uh, Clockwork gets his uh, his Aghanim Scepter. He's 500 gold away, and that Aghanim Scepter, level 3? Yeah, no, level 2. Wow, it's only level 11. Um, well, it's 30 minutes in. But once Clockwork gets level um, level 3 uh, uh, a hook, he's going to just be zipping in and everything. But the cooldown's still the same for all three levels, but it just... The range is a bit better level 3 and damage. Razor Aghanim Scepter, all right. They're looking for the high siege now. I think they're gonna take Roshan and try to push high ground. Hence why all the heroes of the Pandorum are over in this corner. And they're using the Eye of Boss to scout out Rosh. Oh, not to mention they, they see it here. But that's gonna be a huge problem. Butterfly on the side of uh, LMAO on the Viper. Ooh, stun goes out to Kumari from the line. Ultimate goes out as well. But will you be able to make anything of it? Nope. So that means it's, uh... That's a 100 second cooldown for Lion. <laughs> 100 seconds. Fish goes out. Hits him. But he's gonna walk away. Blinks away. And Darkseer. How do you feel about Darkseer in this game? Uh, hey. underwhelming. To say the least. You think it's a bad pick or a uh, bad execution? I think, uh... Maybe a little more in the execution. I think his wall need to be leveled up. Yeah. <laughs> Vegeta is farming, and in terms of look at the graph, I mean, you can tell that the uh, Pandora is farming a bit faster than inside of Banana. And experience is not that high either. Ooh, very wise put, posting, uh, putting the ward here. Not a common dewarding spot. Oh, they are smoked up. Man, stop for the tiny, and they're going straight for Roshan, I think. And they make it spot. They, they're going to spot their shaker here. They silence him, 
And Viper comes in. It's Roshan with the ultimate and it's half health. Half health. And they're going to let the Tiny be smoked up for the time being. Ooh, stun goes out with the Kumari. A little bit misses, though. And the Crypt Swarm misses. But the Fisher does hit um, the Death Prophet and the uh, and Cookie. But Aghanim stepped on Clockwork, so Clockwork maybe. They, they, they're looking to fight this fight, and it looks like A. Oh, yep, they see him. Vega, or uh, Vegeta, maybe in trouble here. Getting kited crazily. And the Surge is going to help him a little bit, but he's still taking the damage. And Death. Oh, my God. It looks like Viper's going to go straight obliterated. They do, do, they do lose the Lion, though. But. That's a good trade off. Oh, guys, Octarine Core. You were right. Dude, the Octarine Core of Dreams, I'm telling you. This is the comeback. Why Octarine, though? Bloods don't give you so much stats. <laughs> it's because h 2 and same thing. That may be true. h 2 and Lean are the same thing. But if they can get this Roshan, they may be fine. But it looks like Slendy is huge right now. Vacuum Wall onto three heroes. Echo Slam, but it looks like that's going to be the end of the side. Ugh. A PG and what they do? Oh, Clockwork steals it. That one zero to a hundred really quick. Yeah. Drone will not. Yeah. yeah. And that will most likely. I be thought it. they took the Roshan. What happened? Is the knock game over? Are they trying to fight this out? No, I, th I think they're gonna just push mid. I mean, no buyback. Only person who has buyback is the IO. But you know, what can, you know, what can you do in the IO? I, I truly believe that Pandora was testing out a. Uh, testing out a, um, a draft and it just didn't work yeah I feel their execution is usually a lot better than what they showed us it, in this game too in game one was it good it, it was really good game one was it was really back and forth like it usually is with uh with Pandorium gaming and then they just pulled out got the last like two three team fights done and then they kind of just steamrolled yeah And this is like this it's just like a bad fight. They glyph it, but I mean these racks are coming down. They hit raise their agonims. What's that picked up from the uh for Kumari Dota? And Go Graph keeps going up, but our tiny just seems not seems to not be working out here. This is. I'm surprised I haven't GG out yet. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, you can't. Uh, they can I, just. That's what they're doing here. They're grouping for a push. They have to. Almost done on the razor. Just needs the hyper stone and then a little bit more for the recipe. Just check out razors. Just kind of look how much HP has. 2100 HP along with 26 armor. Not not in the AC just yet. But I mean, what's this AC he's gonna have? Over 30 armor, probably 30, 30, 33, maybe something like that. But God. And you can't really do anything to him, especially once he got the BK. Once he got the BKB, it was really hard for Tiny, Tiny and them to do anything to him. <laughs> and looking to push this bottom tower, it looks like uh. Oh, well, the power chest on Tiny have been completed. Thirty-six oh, minutes in. The trade. This, this, this is where it ends, guys. The comeback. Here we go. Tiny comes in, uses the avalanche, a hookshot does miss, but he does per- Oh my god, he dodged it, he dodged the Viper ultimate. And it looks like wall, but Slendy does have echo- Oh, echo slam for Kumar, and it's gonna be a wreck. And Death Prophet does use his uh, Octarine core, along with the uh, Death Prophet ultimate, and buy back from uh, Darkseer, but Darkseer has no wall, no vacuum. He's in trouble, Slendy goes down here, oh my god, this is a good fight for Sala Banana, I thought they were losing, but I was wrong. And uh, Low starts to come back, but he's gonna get bukkake by the Death Prophet exorcism. What? And now it's a two for four. Yeah, I thought I was bad, dude. It was so much. It was so many colors. <laughs> My FPS dropped a little bit. That <laughs> there was, but yeah, what's really happening is the uh, the Echo Slam is absolutely destroying their team with the wall illusions and all of their uh, all of their people. Exactly. It's just. Ooh, that's I love that pickup. I wish you would have got that a long time ago. And I think Tiny's. Oh, he, he only has twelve armor. By himself. He only has twelve armor. Wow. I thought he had way more than that. He can take this. He could have took this bottom lane by himself. Yeah. And we
we saw the power of the uh of the side. Oh, yeah. yeah, and the gold graph dips a little bit, but they still were fifteen thousand gold lead. But oh, net worth, look at that. Death profit only about twelve hundred gold away from the Viper, not too far away. And Tiny's about two thousand gold away from the Viper as well. Man, this is this is getting really, really crazy. I mean they're down two lanes of wrecks. And the tier three tower barely took any damage in that fight. But I'm telling you, one more fight. Ooh, he missed the oh, this low star missing a whole bunch of hooks. I don't know if you've seen it. He missed the there's like his fifth the one. Pressure's he missed. building. Yeah. Oh, Death Prophet maybe getting AC or the um, or the Shivas. Which one do you think he's getting? Ooh, I would go Shivas. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, not to mention, they, they destroyed uh, an Aegis Roshan, or Aegis uh, Clockwork, twice. But that means they killed five people, essentially. But look, oh, look how much health he has. Vegeta, 20, almost 2,400 health. I think he needs an AC now, though. Definitely. Oh, they're gonna just deward these. No wards for you. And they're gonna make this uh, one more push here. Mind you, the BKB is uh only on the razor. I think that's another another problem they have. Dark Shield, that's how everyone's ultimates back up in the whole game. Everyone's ultimates up. This may be a fight. A good fight they want to take. Vegeta's here. He's gonna hide in the bushes. They have to watch out for the Earthshaker. They really have to, man. Kumar is going. If they can take care of Kumar, they can wipe up the whole team. But other than that, mm-mm. You have to be careful of the Earthshaker. And that's, this is where our Radiance will come in, but you know, who will get Radiance? The Earthshaker is going to make or break their team. Yep, oh, oh, Fisher, this could be it. No, he's going he's gonna to wait for the time. He wants Vegeta. And I think Vegeta needs a BKB. Uh-oh, Cookie's over there typing. Oh. Toss it to Razor. He does get slow for that because of the Razor. Razor's passive really, is really, really annoying if you, if you forget about a late game. Oh, Razor get the Shiva's guard. Not an AC. That's weird. You called it. No, you called him on Death Prophet. Oh, same person. H2O lean, same, H2O lean, same thing. <laughs> oh, Ooh, lane. oh, oh my god. BKB on Slendy, but a little bit too late. Hook shot in onto four heroes, but oh, Ultimate comes out from, uh, oh no, Ultimate comes out from uh, Echo Slam. Oh my god, buyback from Death Prophet. And. All up with Vegeta. Yeah, and they're just going to disengage. They do. They, they get two. Force a buyback. They're going to retreat on that one. They, uh, Vegeta. They need a wall. Yeah, that's a kite with the hook shot, with the uh, cog pushing the back. That's a terrible fight. But De uh, Death Prophet is here. She needs to go into the fight right now in the Yule Scepter. But it's, her Yule Scepter is up. She can do that right now. I think she would have got a kill off of that one. But that, they killed three heroes they, right there and forced a the buyback. They need to drop the wall here. As soon as they commit, Dark Seer needs to like blink and yeah. just drop the wall. And they, they they know the ultimate's down for everyone but, you know, everyone but Death Prophet, or everyone but Io, you know what I mean? But, ugh. This is, I, I don't think anything can hold him back from taking it. Razor does have his Aghanims in 10 seconds. This other sheep is guard. Ultimate goes out onto uh, the Death Prophet. going to get back here. And Garden Greaves with Darkseid a little bit too late, though, and the Tier 3 tower will fall. Nope. Nope. Not yet. They say not today. No, not today. Not they even deniable yet. Ooh, vacuum, whiffed. Do you That's deny a 30 second cooldown. Ooh, and low star. You say, do you what? Do you deny this situation? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you can, but they can't. And the chief is guard, all that stuff, and they're just gonna go down. Fisher goes out. Double kill. That's four down. GG, well played. Looks like it's going to game three. Mind you, this is an elimination match, so this game will be very, very uh, tricky. I think uh, Pandora will have to uh, play a non gimmicky draft. Um. And you know, you know, uh, come back strong in game three. But Banana took advantage of that weak, uh, the weak lineup and prevailed this game. But I have been sick of Dota, and that has been Kramer Dota. Follow us on our Twitters, and um, hopefully we can see you all in game three.